Question one. So we want to find between these two dates. Okay, so the number of days and then change it to weeks, months, and so on. So the first thing that we'll do <clears throat> is we'll plot these on these um, timelines. So January 21st. in 2019 and then March 8th 2020 <clears throat> now of course um, what would have been kind of the easiest thing is just take out our business calculator and and then simply just <clears throat> find out how many days in between. Um, instead of doing that, I'm going to kind of do it the long way, just so that everyone can see what happens. So we have, okay, this 2019. And in 2019, <clears throat> we have 300 65 days because it's not a leap year so that's the total number of days in the whole year now we're starting from january 21st okay so january 21st if we know what day that is in the year and that's the 21st day in this case because <clears throat> it's the first uh, month so if we subtract so 365 minus 21, so we're going to get 344 days, and that is in 2019. So what we have done is we've taken care of this area right here. Now we need to find out um, the next area which is in 2020 okay and what day in the year March 8th is now 2020 is a leap year okay so this is a leap year and you can test it by just simply dividing by 4 and you'll find that 4 goes evenly into 2020 so well what day is March 8th so we can go to our calendar here so I'm going to pull up a calendar here <clears throat> so we have so March right here and this was March 20th oops sorry let me just check March 8th I'm sorry so let's go back <clears throat> so March the 8th so we are basically looking, so right here, that's March 8th, but it is a leap year, so it's not 67, it's going to be 68, because we're going to have to add the 1. So we have in 2020, okay, so March 8th is, we said was the 68th day, so we have 68 days Okay, to um, March 8th, and now we can add these up, okay, so I can add it up, I'll just do it directly, so 4, 8, so 12, 1, 10, 11, 1, 4, so we have in total 412 days, okay, great, so now, so we found the number of days. Now the next thing that they ask us is okay the number of weeks right here and then the number of months and the number of quarters. Okay and then we want to find T. Okay so well T we can find right away. So T equals to 412 divided by 365 because that's per year ok 
Okay, so we have t. Now, if you want to know the number of weeks, okay, so I can <clears throat> take, well, I mean, there's a couple of ways that we can do it. We can take the number of days and divide it by seven because there's seven days in a week. Or we have our T, which is in years. Well, and if we know the number of years, we can just multiply it by 52 because there's 52 weeks in a year. And that's going to give us the answer. Okay, so we can go ahead and now punch that in. Okay, and it will be approximately, I mean, we can carry as many as we'd like. Okay, so I'll <clears throat> round this off. Okay, so this is going to be 58.7 weeks. Now, um, they also ask us, okay, how many months? Well, months. Okay, so, I mean, probably the easiest as you're doing these is always take, well, if you know how many years... Okay, and then you can calculate how many months by multiplying by 12. Okay, so that's going to be 13.545 so Again, if you like, you can round this. Um, this does not say what, what to round to. Okay, so I'll just keep it as is. Okay, so approximately 13.5 months or a little bit more. And then finally quarters. So if we want to find that, you can still take, okay, so the number of years and multiply so you know there's four quarters, okay, in a year. And therefore, so what we have Approximately 4.515 quarters. Okay, so, um, I mean, the concept is take the number of years that you have, okay, and then the number of years, so we have that right here when we found T, and then just multiply it by whatever it is that you want to find. So weeks, months, quarters, Okay, you know, we could have found semi-annuals, okay, so be times two, and so on. All right, that's it for this question.